Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We got your man. Yeah, that's right. We got Dale Briz. Still nothing. Gosh darn. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got Dale. Still not right. That's still not it. That didn't feel right. Now it does. Rule number seven, safety first. I'm your man, Dale Brisby, manager of Radiator Ranch, the mayor of Winnebago, the all-time greatest bull rider ever to walk the earth, also the most humble. Lastly, not lastly, but for sake of time, the last on this list that I'm going to list off right now, the host of Dale Brisby's Rodeo Time show, hosted by Dale Brisby, created, directed, in this case, filmed and edited by Dale Brisby. A little repetitive, I know, but the point is that you know who the most important is, and that's Dale Brisby. Rodeo time. Gotta get her on down the road. What are we doing today, you're asking yourself? You're watching this, you're sitting there, you're on the edge of your seat, you're anticipating, what is he gonna do today? He's so amazing, he's so good looking, he's so charismatic, and he's such a good leader, and he's so strong, and he's he looks fantastic without a shirt on. I know, you're thinking all of these things, and to answer the first question, what are we doing today? We're going to some meetings. We're going, well, I've got one meeting, actually, not plural meetings, meeting. With, it ends with a G, not an S. Right now, we're going to pick up feed. And then I'm going to straighten out some cowboy hats. They got a little bit, um, you know, and so we're going to get them reshaped. Then, then, we're going back to Radiator Ranch, and we are going to uh, have a meeting. Very important people want to come to the ranch and discuss some very important things with an important person, and that is Dale Brisby. So when I talk to them on the phone, this is how I talk, because I'm important. And then as soon as I get off the phone, I'm back to uh, normal old DB and uh, what you guys know and love. And that's me, because I'm down to earth. I'm, I'm like, I'm on your level, okay? Like, most of the time, as like, as a normal human being, I need oxygen, I need nutrition, food. But as far as like a bull riding status, I'm way above you. I'm the greatest ever. Don't try to match me. If you can add enough money that I'll even show up, don't try to match me. I had to pull over. Rule number seven, safety first. And I've got to talk to you about an epidemic. If you watch a video, you're curious about the music. That's interesting music. I'm really curious about it, and I'd like to know. I'm going to ask the person that made it. If you write song question mark i'm gonna punch you in the face i'm gonna punch you in the freaking face when i see you the next time uh, uh, furthermore like finish the dang sentence furthermore someone announces that they have something serious going on in their life a loved one is sick they've lost their dog prayers prayers what is that what is that can we not finish the sentence Sir, ma'am, I'm praying for you. We don't go to Whataburger. Burger. Burger. We don't do that at Whataburger or Mickey D's or wherever you're getting your calories in these days. Sir, ma'am, may I have a number two with cheese and no mustard because mustard's terrible. Also medium fries and a water to balance all the calories from the burger. Oh yeah, I can? Awesome. I'm gonna pay you with some cash. Then I'm gonna wait on my food. Have a nice day. That's how a conversation goes. Burger. We don't walk by homeless people. Prayers. Prayers. It doesn't work like that. You wanna to respond to me in a text message with the GIF? I'm all about it. It's all I use. If they don't have the little guy going, or a Michael Scott GIF, I'm probably not gonna text back. But when it comes to finding out the song, telling someone you're gonna pray for them, don't use the emoji. And don't say just prayers. It's an epidemic, people, and we gotta do something about it. We've gotta stand up for the future of this country. 
and conversation, for the future of conversations in this country and about this country. All this country. Prayers. Just just start writing burgers. I gotta go. Put my phone down. Rule number seven, safety first. They loaded me so fast I didn't have time to film it. It's the mothership, y'all. That's a lot of total feet. Total Bull is a big fan. That's a total fan. This is probably my favorite part. I did get a good Snapchat on that. This is such a beautiful sight. Baxter, as you can see, eats way more than the total than the total Winnebago Buckers. Than the Winnebago Buckers. They ain't charging enough, Dr. Harry. You should charge more. I've been feeding total equine for a long time. Boone, you're my boy. He's a completely different horse. Dr. Harry didn't even know who I was whenever I started feeding total equine. He still doesn't really know who I am. Are you that bull rider? Thanks for feeding our feed. He's a sweetheart. This really bugs me. I just dropped this. You're welcome. I dropped my little ratchet strap trying to make a video for y'all. Cause I'm a giver. I'm Dale Brisby. This is my first time to come here though. I usually have this lady deliver it. Um, and such nice people. So wonderful to deal with. One of Turn Total right Feet's. Dad Gummit, shut up. One of Total Feet's many mills, I'm sure. That, however, across the road, that's not their meal. When I went in there, um, they were a little agitated. As, as, and I don't blame them. They thought they had a sale, and I was like, oh, y'all don't know DB. Well, number one, you're only like, you're a fraction of a very small group. Matter of fact, there's two of y'all. Y'all, y'all make up like half the group of the people that don't know who Dale Brisby is. But number two, I need to go across the road. This is the wrong meal. Very embarrassing on my part. The, um, these fine folks, they're both fine folks, but these fine folks over here, all, they know who I was. I took a picture. I didn't tell them I went to the wrong meal because uh, sometimes I'm an idiot. Uh, Time to go to Bowie. Well, dally out. I do like that. If you are wrong and shut up, you are wise. That's a proverb right there. Also, if you're in the middle of the road, speed up because there's a truck behind you that's really pissed. Rule number seven, safety first. I'm turning you off and I'm putting on my seatbelt. Listen, LinkedIn, I know this social media thing is a place to like um, network and get jobs, but you don't want to hire me, okay? I'm sorry, but I make so much money riding bulls. Listen. Rules are meant to be broken, bulls are meant to be spurred, and jobs are meant to be left. I, I, this weekend, when I go to this big money added, spurring Bramer next for big money checks, bull bucking, I, yes, that's where I went. I'm not going to my grandmother's. I'm going to a big money bull riding. I'm gonna go 90, and when I do, they're gonna carry me out of the arena, the committee, the head committee man is going to be like, hey, kiss my girlfriend on the, on the mouth. And I'll be like, no, 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 no. And, uh, and then they're going to give me a big check, like a cardboard check that wouldn't fit in your office. And I'm going to hold it up, and, they're gonna, and everybody's going to be cheering my name. I'm not going to show up to work on Monday, okay? I'm a bull rider. They literally play on to the next one when I'm, when I'm riding bulls. I'm probably not going to show up on Tuesday because it's rodeo time Tuesday. Wednesday is hump day. I might as well just, I've already missed most of the week. Thursday, the rodeos start back. Friday, I, I forgot, what's your name again? So, do yourself a favor and keep scrolling and hire somebody that loves to play golf or go to Bed Bath & Beyond on Saturdays. That's just not me. And I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry I'm not sorry, okay? I gotta go, I'm headed to the rodeo.
I wish I would have filmed this this morning. I didn't because it was just, I was by myself and it was so exciting, but also nerve wracking at the same time. So I'm gonna recap it for you. These seven cows and two babies were not in this trailer when I showed up this morning, as you probably assumed. They were in this pasture. I got the cow, I'm gonna back up. Let me back up, just a second. So the, I got some wheat over here. And I was like, should I get yearlings? Or, and I was like, no, because it's 10 yearlings. You lose two, that's 20% death loss. That's crazy heavy. Um, so what if I get some bred cows? I was like, okay, good. So, and then they'll have a calf and I sell the cows, they don't have calves and I've got my money back. And then it's like free calves. Look, sounds good, doesn't it? Um, well, it turns out my buddy who's an order buyer, he got the calves, the cows, super wild cows, which was, Okay, I'm a cowboy. I'm a cowboy. Yeah, I'll take them. I'll take them. So I take them. One of them loses a calf. That's all good because the cow didn't die. Just, just the, the calves. And so then four of them have them. Beautiful babies. Four of them have beautiful babies. Um, never touch the cows. The cellborn tax finally just fell off. Didn't even worm them. Uh, three of the calves turned out really good. Calm. Um, they're growing beautiful calves um, they just had crazy moms one of the calves is super crazy anyways I, it's, it's dragging on the story is supposed to be a recap and now it's longer than me actually catching them so I got them trained up to the feed they came in they and I finally got my pen set up and um, thank goodness I would not have caught these cows especially not got them sorted had I not had the pins the WW panels came in clutch as they have my whole life Train my first horse in a WW round pin. That's a whole nother story. I know you'll love my stories and you love when they drag on and on. Anyhow, I got them in the trailer. I took two calves with them because they were running off calves. I'd rather those calves be gone than drag these beautiful babies out each morning whenever I go to feed them. Cause I need these to grow and turn into big Brisby beef steers and heifers. So here they are. Just a sea of black. Isn't that beautiful? just gently walking around. You see a, a one, two Charlays on the end there. Hey, I have fed Prime One before, and that's graded on the rail by a professional. They were Charlays. So when you see Brisby beef popping up, just know that if, if, if one of, if the steak you're biting into is a Charlay, hey, it was, it was a good Charlay. All right, old son? And these cold cows are leaving. The only thing that make me happier than selling one of these cows is to see them up on my wall because a couple of them got some cool horns, but that doesn't make me much money. It looks cool. Anyways, they gone. I'm so excited. Now that the adrenaline's wearing off, my knee is starting to hurt an incredible amount because I got kicked by the biggest one really hard in the side of the knee. Anyway, I'm going to be okay. It'll be fine. And, uh, no, I'm just kidding. I'm not really going to limp like that. Y'all are gone. And these two babies that are wild. This one mooing, though. I feel bad about you leaving. But if you're not going to produce, you can't stay. You can't stay. I'm going to pretend that somebody's going to hire you, hire you as a replacement. Hire. <laughs> Buy you as a replacement. Don't you love the cow business? I'll tell you what. I love Cattle Company Day. I know that. Cattle Company Day at Radiator Ranch. Did the horses just get out? And, and I know what you're thinking. Hey, Dale, I'll raise a uh, a wild cow or feed a wild yearling. Well, go to the barn and buy you one. Buy you these. I don't care because I don't want to. Okay? That's me. You be you. I'm going to be me because I'm Dale Brisby, old son. I'm wild enough. I don't need my cattle to be that way, too. You feel me? Hey, that's deep right there, old son.